Hello everyone! In today's video, I will be sharing with you my art journal tips and tricks. So first off, what is an art journal? An art journal can really be whatever you make of it, but unlike a sketchbook, I would say that an art journal is more like a scrapbook of your life and your artwork over a certain period of time. An art journal is more of a finished piece of art in my opinion, whereas a sketchbook I would say is where you're planning out future projects, making notes for art classes, things like that. My three favorite sketchbooks are as follows. So the first one is this one from curries.com. It's the premium hardcover sketchbook in the smallest size, four by six inches. This one is the Moleskin art sketch album in the large size, five by 8.5 inches. And finally, I have this super tiny Moleskin art sketch album pocket in 3.5 by 5.5 inches. So my first tip is to organize your journal like you would a book. I like to give my journals a name, it can be anything you want, and I like to use stamps to paste that on the cover. I also like to make table of contents to kind of organize the flow of your sketchbook, but also it's just kind of fun. Um, and I also like to number my pages, I just think it's really cool to see exactly how many pages you are going through. So here are a few examples of my chapter spreads. This is just a habit I got into after my high school art teacher recommended us to do this, and I think it's a really cool way of organizing things. So my next tip is to have a paper trail. So a paper trail to me is just random receipts, ticket stubs, things like that that you paste into your sketchbook just to kind of remind yourself of those times and kind of have it as like a scrapbook of different things that have happened to you. I also like using tags and photographs. Next tip is to experiment with different mediums, try different things, and take risks. Art journals are unlike a sketchbook in that it's it's kind of exploring your growth as an artist and as a person, so don't be afraid to play around and try new things. I like to try all sorts of mediums, rip pages, tape things in, and overall just challenge myself as an artist. I definitely use a lot of stamps in my art journals, especially for adding in quotes and titles and things like that. My letter stamps are the ones that I find myself using the most. These tiny ones are super useful for adding quotes. I also like using just random tiny stamps that I've collected over the years. These are my favorite stamp pads, but I also like just using markers. I think stamps are a fun way to add different textures um, and elements to your sketchbook. Collage is a really great way to add interest to your sketchbook, play around with different things, and just create really awesome works of art. I think collage is a really great way to play around with different things, as well as use old magazines. My favorites are Vogue, National Geographic, Vanity Fair, but I also like using flyers. Now, since this is called an art journal, it's very fun to add like journal aspects into it. So I like to do some free writing where you just kind of it's stream of consciousness, write everything that comes onto your mind without stopping. I think it's a cool way to fill up backgrounds. Also doing to-do lists can be cool. You can write down different things you're grateful for. You can use it as a manifestation journal. At the end of the day, your art journal is yours and you don't have to show anybody your final progress. Um, and it should be a safe place where you feel like you can just express yourself and grow as an artist and as a person. A tip my high school art teacher also said was to go back in your journal and add to the pages. Um, like I said, this is kind of like a collage and scrapbook of your life at the time, so it's cool to go back to your earlier pages and add new things you've learned, make comments on past journal entries, things like that. I definitely recommend art journaling. It's a super fun way to express yourself creatively. I find that it's so much less stress than like creating a finished artwork, a finished painting, a finished drawing, because there's just so many pages to fill and just have fun with. And I think it's really cool to have all these books that are just a collection of who you were at that time. So make sure to record when you started, when you finished it, things like that and just have fun with it because it really is a diary of your growth as a person. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more artsy videos. Bye guys.